great time at Pride and remember that as young people, it's our duty to carry the torch for the next generation of LGBT people. Remember, there are brothers and sisters of ours that are not free to be who they are in some parts of the world. So please think about them. I think on this 50th anniversary of the partial decriminalisation, it's finally time for us to look back at the wounds and the damage that have been done to us from growing up in the closet and throughout all of this, this homophobia and transphobia and so on, and to finally do something about it and, and really give meaning to the concept of LGBT pride. Don't be afraid to be an individual. Embrace it. Go out and share your life with people and just share that joy of your life and have fun. Please, on this celebration day, remember there were many of us that suffered so that you may have what you have got. Let us not forget that love happens here. We've got to remember our past, our present and our future and continue to show solidarity to those that can't be here with us or that are around the world who are still facing challenges in being out. Bring pride into your daily life. Be proud as you walk down the street. Be proud as you hold your partner's hand. Be proud as you go into work today and tell everyone I am LGBTI and I'm proud to be who I am today. And I'm really looking forward to the Pride event that's to come. It covers a whole range of LGB and T and Q and I people. It's great to see that diversity respected, particularly in the trans people where non-binary identities and non-gender identities and how much are respected. I'm so happy to see this number of people having a great time and being out and proud. But I'd also say that being out and proud, sometimes you're going to have to stand up and be counted and be brave and just remember that we've all got to look after each other um, and make sure you do that.